linear or quadratic using the graphing calculator to plot and interpret data. The first example we have here is a bottle of soda. There's a hole at the bottom of this bottle of soda and over time in the X column or independent variable column with S at the top, that's the number of seconds. And on the right is a column of centimeter level in the bottle. And so what we can do is we can draw arrows and we can calculate differences and find the rate of change this way. But with our graphing calculator, we can get it to do it for us. So if we go to stat and press enter, we can go ahead and enter all the independent variable data under L1 and the dependent variable data under L2 and we have 12 points here. And from here we can go to Y equals and in Y equals we'll turn on our plot make sure it's activated then we go to zoom and we go to nine which is zoom stat and what that does is it plot it adjusts the window to, so that we'll be able to see all of our points and here we see a nice curve and now we're going to go to a stat calc and if we remember our curve does it look like a linear relation no it looked like it might have been a quadratic or some other kind of relation so we go down to five and try it we press enter twice and we get this relation now with all these decimals we're going to want to enter this in y equals and see how well this fits our points but with all these decimals it would take it'd be easy to make a mistake it'd be easy to it would take so long to do it and so our calculator fortunately is able to do it for us and we go to Y equals then we go to the VARS key which is between program and clear we from here go down to five statistics and press enter and then we arrow over twice to the right till you get this screen and then press enter and it pastes the function into uh, Y equals under Y1 and here we can press graph and we can see that this curve fits our points beautifully. So with that we'll be able to make predictions. And If we press trace we can go back and forth on the line and see what it is and if we go to our table view by pressing second graph now we have to make sure that under table set view second window that we have it set up under auto under ask instead of auto but if we do that we can go to second graph and enter anything we want for time it'll give us with the relation the level of uh, liquid in it so let's look at our next problem here we have one from a government uh, the Constitution allows for a certain number of representatives from the different states to be determined according to the populations of the various states and here we have recent data from our seven largest states the population in millions in one column and the number of representatives in the uh, dependent variable column and what we can do is we go back and press stat enter and we see the previous data and we can get rid of that by going up arrowing up to L1 pressing clear and then pressing the down arrow and the data is gone and then we arrow over to L2 press clear again and then down arrow and what that's done is it's cleared out all those points under L1 and L2 so now we can go ahead and enter these seven points from the problem we're currently looking at and we go to Y equals and we press clear to clear off the the prior function that was earlier calculated now we go to zoom 9 and it gives us this relation and if I draw a red line here and just eyeball it even it looks to be pretty close to a linear relation so that should help us choose what to do so we go to stat calc and we try in fact for linear regression and press enter twice and we get this relation again a lot of decimals so we're going to have our calculator do it for us by going to Y equals and from here we go to VARS we arrow down to statistics press enter then we arrow twice to the right till we get this screen press enter and it pasted in there for us and then we can graph 
And we see, in fact, that the line that the calculator determined fits these points very well. So we can go ahead and use this data to predict uh, this function. Can If we have a, a state, say the state of Utah, with a population of, of 5 million, for instance, we can go ahead and predict how many representatives that state should have. So this technique has real-world uses. Now we're going to go to a problem that is a real-world use problem. And the state of Missouri determined through its studies that the distance a car takes a stop depends on how fast that car is going when it stops. And so what I'd like you to do is stop the video and see if you can plot this data and determine whether the data is linear or quadratic, then run the regression to determine the relation and graph the relation over the points. Okay, here are the plotted points. Again, it doesn't really look like a line. It looks more of a, like a curve. And so I tried a quadratic regression and got this relationship and pasted it in here. And then when I graphed it, it fitted these points very well. Now, using this data, we can, can answer other questions. For instance, going at 100 miles an hour, how far will it take that car to stop? Well, we can enter, go to our table view, second graph, and enter, for instance, 100, and see that it takes 400, would take 444 feet to stop. So to summarize, first, plot the points in the stat menu. Second, turn the plot one on, use zoom nine to graph the data. And then estimate whether that relation is linear, quadratic, or something else. Then run the appropriate regression. And you can try different things. If one doesn't work out, you can try something else. And finally, paste the regression to y equals and use the equation to evaluate and predict. I hope this video has been helpful to you. I invite you to come back and see our other videos. Thanks for coming.